Well, Anne Elizabeth Moutet is a columnist at The Telegraph newspaper and she joins us live from Paris. Anne Elizabeth, are you expecting to see any backlash or could we see protests about this announcement? I don't think so, but I'd like to take issue with well, the way you phrase this. This is not a ban of women. This is a ban according to the um, 2004 law on which, uh, which makes provision for anything that distinguishes students and might lead to discrimination of students. And the idea that is that in schools, not in universities, where you can wear what you want because you're a major and therefore you're entitled to your choice, uh, in schools, children are all entitled to a neutral education that has no religion, Catholic, Protestant, Jewish, Muslim, uh, none of those signs. And the abaya is just a latest development, but the law says any sign that can create a condition of discrimination and of uh, the intrusion of religious sign in the French school. The law that says that French schools have to be secular dates back to 1905. So all of this is not something either surprising or very new. And I think the people who spoke to your correspondent are very disingenuous. Even though this is just the latest uh, expression of France's secular laws, could it, though, be viewed, the fact that it's coming at this time, as an attempt by the Macron government to try and court some more support from right-leaning voters? No, because actually you will find that people on the left, and Gabriel Attal once upon a time was a socialist, but you will find that the immense majority of the country, the Communist Party leader Fabien Roussel, for instance, they all agree on this. So it's not something that appeals to Marine Le Pen. And, you know, I actually would sort of pay attention to something that would uh, uh, try and, and get the support of the extreme right. But in this case, I think there's a misunderstanding outside. And there's also, I'm, I think, a sort of disinterest ingenuous desire to paint France in colours that she's not, precisely because the idea is that all children are equal. Could this affect France's relationship with the Muslim world if, as you say, people are misinterpreting France's intention here? Well, it depends how some television channels decide to paint this, but it really is something that is not specific. It is something that all principals in schools know. I will not say that the minister is not ambitious, because he is, but, you know, many politicians are ambitious. And again, this is something that not only, you know, a huge majority of the French agree, but also lots of Muslims in France agree, and I would say the majority, but like many majorities, they are the silent majority. It will be interesting when school starts in a week. We may have you back on to uh, commentate on uh, what we see coming at the school gates. Anne Elizabeth Moutet, thank you for your analysis.